Hi everyone, I had a minute to spare, so I thought I would jump online and start addressing some of the questions that came in. So because of that, I thought I'd add some nerdy glasses because mine aren't nerdy enough and a little bow tie and we're going to get started. I'm going to flip the board here and just show you what I've got going on. So um, Michelle wrote, after our Ottawa class, um, she wrote about the SCBA question, and the question reads, an SCBA uses 0.012 cubic meters of air every minute. How many minutes will an SCBA that contains 1.017 cubic meters of air last? Now, she was brilliant and she knew that it was a rate and proportion question and so knowing that, she plunked in her numbers which ended up being 0.012 meters of cubic air or cubic meters over one minute equals 1.017 meters cubed or cubic meters over x and then you're going to remember to cross multiply and uh, divide by the remaining so um, that boiled down to one times point uh, sorry one times 1.017 over 0 0.012 or moving forward uh, 1.017 divided by decimal 012 now, Michelle understood that she had to move the decimals and she did the division just fine. Um, if you have questions, I did the division for you, that way it's there. Her question was actually, why do we use the decimal in the zeros instead of having a remainder? What's the rule? So, um, the general rule of thumb when you have a decimal is to go three spaces past the decimal to get your answer. Now, I'm just going to back up in case you're a little bit confused. There was no decimal or no zeros here originally. It was um, one into, or sorry, 0 0.012 into 1.017. We moved the decimal here, and because of that, we had to move the decimal over here, which took the decimal up in the answer past 84. So when we did the division, we were left with a remainder of nine. And this is where Michelle's question comes in. How come we've added the zeros? Why don't we just leave it with a remainder of nine? So um, the mathematical reason is you never leave a number with a remainder. Generally, the rule is to go to three decimal points or three numbers to the right of the decimal or um, continue to divide until you get a zero remainder in which case this is what we did so we wouldn't have to add another zero. Now in terms of your fire test why is this important? The answer is if your answers are specifically decimal answers then you should get an exact match so on your test if you're looking for the answer and the answer options in decimals, then the answer should be 84.75. So on your test, if it's um, a decimal answer, then that answer should be exact. However, in some tests, you might have answer options like this, 83, ABC 84, 85, and 86. So you come up with a decimal, but um, your answer options are whole numbers. In this case, because your answers are whole numbers, you have to look at the first number to the right of the decimal here and ask yourself if you need to round the whole number. Now the rule with rounding the whole number is if this decimal, this place, or sorry, if this number here after the decimal is higher than five, then you would round this number, this whole number up. So because seven is higher than five, you're going to round 84.75 to 85. Therefore, your answer on your test is going to be 85. 
All right, so just a quick recap of that question. Why do we use uh, decimals and zeros instead of having a remainder? The answer is because we're trying to clear the remainder and the mathematical rule would be to continue to add as many zeros as you need and take it to at least the third um, number to the right of the decimal. In relation to your test, you want to make sure that you're able to round the number if needed because if your answer options are in decimals, you'll get an exact match. But as you see here, if your answer options are in whole numbers, you just need to remember to look at this number and ask yourself if it's greater than five. If it's greater than five, then round that number up. All right, hi Scott, I saw you earlier. I just wanted to get that finished. If you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment. I will be popping in. I know I've got a couple of other questions coming your way and um, Missy, I hope that helped. And again, if you have questions, just let me know. Okay guys, thanks for watching.